So as someone who's legally blind, one of the things that I come across is that I always have to find ways of making things more accessible for myself. One of the big issues I have is when I'm at work um, and I'm typing because I really haven't gotten the whole concept of touch typing down. Um, I'm not always looking at my screen or my keyboard. It's kind of in between. But sometimes when I go to do something that requires a capital, I hit go to hit the shift key and instead I hit the caps lock key not paying attention because I'm looking at my keyboard type out a whole long sentence and then realize everything's in capitals so what I did is I went for a Google search to find out how to disable cap locks the cap locks key and basically what I found is you can do it by going into your registry and adding um, a string within your registry that will disable the cap locks so I've done this on my work computer and I've done this on my home computer and now I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's switch over to my desktop. So if you're like me and you're visually impaired, I'm legally blind, when I type, so let me clear up this typing, so usually to do the quick brown fuck let's type it again but this time we'll put a capital so normally when I go to do a capital I use the shift key on my left and I accidentally end up doing holding oh. I will hit or I'll hit a that's usually when it happens is I hit a so a oh. So you type out this big long line and basically your cap locks on then you have to delete it and you have to go back and erase it. So what I've done is like I mentioned did a little research. Let's delete this and I'm going to close out of my notepad. So I've got two files here. One is for disabling the cap locks which basically adds the line within the registry to disable it and then I have one which is for re-enabling your cap locks which basically will go and remove that line out of your registry. So I'll show you what this one looks like. So basically this is a registry file. You just click on it and run it and it will remove it. So as you saw that when I hit my cap locks everything went in caps. Um, so basically it's telling us that this is located at H key local machine under system current control set control and then keyboard layout. So basically what it does is it adds this line as a value whenever you click on this file. And when you do this and you enable it, what it will do is that you can hit your cap locks key and you'll never be stuck with cap locks on all the time so you're not hollering at people all the time. Be great for people on YouTube that loves to use leave comments that are always shouting at you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to run this. Well, actually first I'm going to show you my registry to show you that that key is not there. So if we go reg, I can't type. Reg edit. Yes, we want to run. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I can see. And let's go back always up to the top because I've been in here multiple times. So go to H key local machine. And then you come down to system. And under system, you go to. Current control set, and then you do control, and then you go all the way down here to keyboard labs. Which, as you can see, I don't currently have the key that will disable my cap locks. So let me zoom out. 
And I'm going to close my registry edit. I'm going to run the file. So all you do is double click on it, tell it to run. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. Go away. And then it's going to tell you this is going not advisable because this could mess up your registry, but it's okay. And then it's going to tell you this has been added successfully. So okay. So at this point, what you need to do is reboot your computer. So I'm going to stop the recording, and then I'm going to reboot, and I'll come back and I'll show you that it's there. All right. So we've rebooted. We're back up and running. And so what I will show you is if I go back into Notepad. And I go back to, just close that out, close, save, no. So as you can see, typing, 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 nothing. Cap locks, typing, typing, nothing. So yeah, even if you hold the cap locks, nothing will happen. But if you hold your shift key, then you're in caps. If you let go of your shift key, you're back to normal. So just to show you the changes that were made as per the registry file that we ran, if we do this, if we click on our start button in your little, if you're running Windows 7, you can click in here and you type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And another way you can get in there is by actually doing Windows key plus R, which is your run command as well. And just type in register, that, reg edit. So here we are back into our registry. One thing I would, probably suggest before doing this is if you go into your registry and you go to file and you do export and basically by exporting you're backing up your registry so that if for whatever weird reason you happen to press the wrong key or do the wrong thing um, you can always restore back to the previous version of your registry so what we need to do once again H key local machine and system and current control set and control and then you scroll down now as you can see before before I rebooted we had a keyboard layouts with an S but we did not have the keyboard layout so by running that key what it added was the keyboard layout and it added this value here which basically this value disables that cap lock key so that it doesn't basically work um, so yeah, and as stated, I do have, if you ever wanted to re-enable it, I will put both of these files um, within a Dropbox link within the uh, description so that you can download them and then run them at your leisure. Um, but as you can see here, and this is the file to, oops, and this is the file to re enable your cap locks key and basically it's the exact same thing except all we do is we add a hyphen or a minus sign um, right here before this H key and basically what that does is it removes this key so it will remove this whole key right out of your registry and then once again you have to reboot for that to take effect all right so I hope this was useful to you if you have any other questions um, well, this wasn't really a question. This was just more of something that I've learned to do so that I don't holler at the technicians when I'm typing up my notes at work or any emails that I do at work. I'm not hollering at people by accidentally hitting the caps lock button, which I've done many, many times. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or want to see anything else, uh, let me know and I'll try and do a video on them. Thanks. Have a good day.